Priscilla Chapter 1 Priscilla Beaulieu was only 14 years old when she first met Elvis Presley. It was 1959, and Elvis was already a meteoric rock and roll superstar. Priscilla was living with her parents in Bad Nauheim, Germany, where her father was stationed in the U.S. Army. One evening, Priscilla and her friends were invited to a party at a local hotel. Elvis was staying at the hotel, and he was introduced to Priscilla at the party. Priscilla was immediately smitten with him. She had never seen anyone like him before. He was handsome, charismatic, and incredibly talented. Elvis was also drawn to Priscilla. He liked her innocence and her youth. He also liked that she was a fan of his music. Elvis began to spend more and more time with Priscilla, and they soon became close friends. Priscilla's parents were initially concerned about her relationship with Elvis. He was much older than her, and he was a celebrity. But Priscilla's parents eventually came to trust Elvis. They could see that he was genuinely fond of their daughter. In 1960, Elvis was drafted into the U.S. Army. He was stationed in Fort Chaffee, Arkansas. Priscilla and her family moved to Memphis, Tennessee, so that Priscilla could be close to Elvis. Priscilla and Elvis continued to see each other while Elvis was in the army. They would often go on dates, and they would talk for hours on the phone. Elvis was very supportive of Priscilla, and he encouraged her to follow her dreams. After Elvis was discharged from the army, he and Priscilla moved in together at Graceland, Elvis's mansion in Memphis. Priscilla continued to attend high school, but she also spent a lot of time with Elvis. She helped him with his career, and she was a constant source of support for him. In 1967, Elvis and Priscilla got married. They had a beautiful wedding at Graceland, and they were surrounded by their closest friends and family. Chapter 2 Priscilla and Elvis's marriage was initially very happy. They were madly in love with each other, and they had a lot of fun together. Priscilla loved being Elvis's wife. She enjoyed traveling with him and meeting all of his famous friends. But Priscilla soon realized that being married to Elvis was not always easy. He was a demanding husband, and he often had unrealistic expectations of her. Elvis also had a lot of personal problems. He was struggling with addiction, and he was often depressed. Despite Elvis's problems, Priscilla remained committed to him. She loved him deeply, and she wanted to help him. But as the years passed, Priscilla began to feel increasingly isolated and alone. She felt like she couldn't be herself around Elvis. She had to conform to his expectations, and she had to suppress her own needs and desires. In 1968, Priscilla gave birth to a daughter, Lisa Marie. Priscilla was overjoyed to be a mother, but she also felt overwhelmed. She was trying to raise a child while also being a supportive wife to Elvis. As Lisa Marie grew older, Priscilla began to realize that she needed to make a change. She didn't want Lisa Marie to grow up in the same kind of environment that she had. She wanted Lisa Marie to have a normal childhood. In 1972, Priscilla and Elvis separated. It was a difficult decision for both of them, but they knew it was the best thing for their family. Priscilla and Elvis remained friends after their separation, and they co-parented Lisa Marie successfully. Priscilla's marriage to Elvis was tumultuous, but it was also a time of great personal growth for her. She learned to be independent and to stand up for herself. She also learned to love and accept herself for who she was. Chapter 3 After her separation from Elvis, Priscilla began to focus on her own career. She started a successful modeling career, and she also starred in several films and television shows. 
Priscilla also became a successful businesswoman. She launched her own line of clothing and accessories, and she also wrote several books. Priscilla remained close to Elvis until his death in 1977. She was devastated by his death, but she also knew that he was at peace. Priscilla has continued to be a successful businesswoman and author. She has also been a vocal advocate for mental health awareness. Priscilla's story is an inspiration to many people. She is a strong and independent woman who has overcome many challenges in her life. She is also a loving mother and grandmother. Epilogue Priscilla Beaulieu Presley is now a successful businesswoman, author, and actress. She is also a loving mother and grandmother. Priscilla has overcome many challenges in her life, but she has always come out stronger. She is an inspiration to many people.